you. I've seen you in the clinic. You run errands for Natasha, right? Your cover? What are you talking about? <sighs> Let me guess. Natasha wants you to persuade me to go back for a follow-up visit, right? <sighs> What's the use? I'm terminal. Life will be over before I know it. Of course not. I read it in a book. Every book I read has descriptions that match my symptoms exactly. I can diagnose myself with a dozen incurable diseases before I get halfway through. For people in my situation, a follow-up visit is just a waste of time and money. Not to mention medicine. Mutual aid what now? What are you talking about? What else is there to say? Natasha was seeing me free of charge. She said I could keep a tab running for as long as I liked, then pay it back when I had the opportunity. I guess I'm too proud. Are you making fun of me? <sighs> Have at it. You won't change my mind. <sighs> Dr. Vash never charged me anything either. Natasha's great, but Vash was always my number one. Natasha's brother. They both used to practice medicine back in Rivetown. I heard he was a top student from the Overworld Medical Academy. Bellabog's main hospital wanted him. I've no idea what convinced him to set up down here. A kind heart, maybe. What do you mean? Dr. Vash was a people's doctor. He handed out free medicine. He even followed up with detailed questions on how he felt. The underworld is always short of medical resources. They say that Dr. Vash made all his own medicine himself. You think I don't want to? I heard that he passed away. Ugh. I should keep my voice down. Don't go telling anyone else about this next bit. I heard that Natasha had something to do with Dr. Vash's death. They say she was jealous that her brother had stolen her patients, so she... <sighs> it's just something people were saying. I don't think Dr. Natasha could do something like that. <sighs> Forget I said anything. Since Dr. Natasha sent you over specially, I'll do her a favor. I'll go to the clinic for my follow-up a little later. Bye for now. Avoiding a follow-up visit due to money issues. <sighs> I should find another patient to talk to. My ears aren't what they used to be. Everything's muffled. Ah! A follow-up visit. Is that what you're asking about? Natasha's a, a wonderful girl. She always gives me a thorough checkup. But at this age, it's rather a lot to bear. Well, even if they could cure me, I'm sure I wouldn't be around for long. I don't want to waste anyone's time.
That girl's always trying to get me to take my medicine on time. Ah, <laughs> oh, I know her heart's in the right place. My husband had the same illness as me, but he never touched the medicine. <laughs> he wanted to make sure I had enough. Then, one day, he said he needed to take care of some things at the mine. He never came back. He was forever saying he wanted to go before I did. Ah, <laughs> oh, selfish old fool. I miss him. Now that he's gone, who cares how long I stick around? You're not wrong, I suppose. That girl certainly spares me no effort. But I always feel like I'm a burden to her. Okay, you win. It's off for another follow-up visit with Dr. Natasha, I suppose. Hmm? Did you want to say something else? Yeah, my ears are terrible. Virtual who? All right, I heard you. Do you have to shout? No. I've never heard of any mutual aid society. Avoiding a follow-up visit due to her husband. I should find another patient to talk to. Why haven't I gone for my follow-up visit? Are you a patient too, or did Dr. Natasha send you over? Who else would care about people like me? I don't need Dr. Natasha's help now. Tell her to save her worries and medicine for other people. A dispute. No, no. She's the only kind-hearted doctor in the underworld. I just don't really approve of her methods, that's all. Too idealistic and no real efficacy. She tries to save everyone, which means she can't save anyone. In the end, it's the patients who suffer, and she just tires herself out. Miners like me don't have time for lengthy treatments. If I can't take something and get right back to work, I may as well lie down and wait for death to come knocking. Did you, uh, know Dr. Vash? His wonder medicine is cheap, and the results are immediate. You just need to, uh, be willing to, uh, take a little risk. Dr. Vash's medicine is... different. Lots of people make a full recovery after taking it, but some get worse, and the unlucky ones check out early. Even knowing the risk, most people fight tooth and nail to get hold of the medicine. You know why? Hmm. <laughs> You're smarter than you look. When life forces you to the edge, you'll throw yourself at any opportunity, even if it means risking it all people like us. A slow and torturous treatment is the same as a death sentence. If it's between that and a quick result, we'll take the latter. <clears throat> Forget it. Why am I telling you all this? Dr. Vash is dead anyway. <laughs> what? Now you're interested in the wonder medicine? Listen up. The Complex Illness Mutual Aid Society is still selling that medicine. I can tell you where they trade, but there's a rule. You must not tell any of this to Dr. Natasha, you hear? If you break the rule, 
You'll face the consequences. Here, take this. It's the address. A final warning. Do not reveal this information to Natasha. I know where to find the wonder medicine. What should I do next? That patient didn't want me to tell Natasha about this. Should I listen to him? Great, a walk in the park. Stay right there while I give you a present! Perhaps you still don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens. And I'm no exception. Fights are like gambling. You have to choose when to strike. Oh! Ugh, this hand sucks. Stay calm. That's a set. Time for the pant. Luck of the draw. Please, 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 please. Uh, looks like... Try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move. <laughs> Time for a detailed overhaul. <laughs> you won't get away. That'll take more than medicine. Savor the vigor of it. Better late than never. Wait for the tiles before you start killing. <laughs> Combat is a series of precise machinations. With me out here, how can we lose? Time for a nap time. Fights are like gambling. You have to choose when to strike. <laughs> time for a detailed overhaul. Perhaps you still don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens. And I'm no exception. Got 
Gotcha. That's a set. Time for the payout. Combat is a series of precise machinations. Come one, come all. You can't run! Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move! All better now? Ah, oh, thanks a Wait lot! for the tiles before you start counting. Hey, where do you think you're going? Medicine, oh! You mean Dr. Vash's wonder medicine, right? You're the same as everyone else that comes through here. If you want medicine, you don't need to go any further. You talk to me. And we only take cash. This ain't a charity. The Mutual Aid Society sets the price. It might be different from Dr. Vash and his handouts, but it's a darn sight cheaper than that clinic woman's medicine. Well, are you buying or not? Spit it out. I don't have time for chit-chat. Wait a minute. You're close. Are you friends with that doctor woman? I've seen you at the clinic before. I know it. Get lost. Now! If you're a friend of that woman, then you're not welcome here. Ugh. Shop's closed today. No customers. W wait. What about our medicine? We've been waiting for ages. Get lost, all of ya. Save your breath and come back some other time. That medicine seller sure shut up shop in a hurry. Get lost, now. If you're a friend of that woman, then you're not welcome here. Shop's closed today. No customers. You won't get away. Ooh. I'm okay. You have the worst luck running into me. <sighs> Savor the vigor of it. Fights are like gambling. You have to choose when to strike. Stay calm. Better late than never. One step closer to the stars. Fancy a coffee?
So the Mutual Aid Society found my... found Bash's research results. And now they're selling this so-called wonder medicine to patients? Any organization doing something like this is interested in more than just mutual aid. As a doctor, I don't accept that. I'm responsible for their well-being. My attitude towards this wonder medicine won't change. What Vash left behind is nothing more than reagents and experimental byproducts. The word medicine doesn't apply here. I warned the patients countless times, but seems like they had their heads in the sand all along. <laughs> no wonder they kept the Mutual Aid Society a secret from me. I'm guessing the patients you met weren't exactly singing my praises, which is why you tracked the dealer down and made inquiries first. I don't blame you. After everything you heard, I'm grateful you came back to find me. Your trust is important to me. If you're curious about Vash's wonder medicine, you should ask some of the patients in the clinic. See what they have to say about the effects. Some people say that Dr. Vash was a saint who came from the overworld to help those in need. Eh, I don't buy it. People's doctor, that's just what people who've bought into the myth like to say. Vash used to distribute free medicine all the time, but um, he, he couldn't have cared less about the people taking the medicine. The hard truth is that we were just his test subjects. It didn't matter if the medicine worked or not. What mattered was having a constant stream of willing lab rats. Of course, I can't control what anyone else thinks. That's just how I see it. The medicine Bash left behind? <sighs> that stuff... Can you even call it medicine? I know Dr. Natasha's here, but I have to tell it like it is. Bash had zero medical ethics. He didn't deserve the title doctor. He may have had the capability, but he didn't use it to help anyone. Whenever I went to see him, he never even asked about my illness. He just prescribed me his so-called wonder medicine. If it were you, would you have taken that medicine? I still haven't worked out how to convey it to you. The issues surrounding Vash. My relationship with him. The things he's done in the underworld. It's a long story. I'm guessing you've heard a lot of different opinions on Vash. <laughs> what do you make of him? I want you to go and visit another patient, a victim of the wonder medicine. I want you to see the real consequences of abusing that medicine. Once you've understood her situation, come back and tell me what you think. After that, I want to ask for your help again.
who? And who am I? Where's my husband? And where's my child? Where, where are they? You, you know where they are, right? You don't know. They don't know. Nobody knows. Where? Where did they go? Come over here, child. It's best to leave that poor lady in peace. Let me explain. That poor, poor lady. Both her husband and child became ill and passed away. Yes, before her family passed away, she was a carefree young woman. Her husband and child caught a, a mysterious illness. The symptoms weren't grave, but their livelihood was certainly impacted. In order to try and rid themselves of the ailment once and for all, they bought some kind of wonder medicine. Who would have thought their condition would deteriorate so rapidly after they began using it? The two began to suffer terribly, such that death then became a blessing. It wasn't long before they departed this world, one after the other. From that moment on, oh, she became as you see her now. If Dr. Natasha hadn't taken her under her wing, well, it doesn't bear thinking about. And yet, what more could have been done? They were warned about the medicine. They were told about the risks. And they chose to roll the dice. Oh, talking about it tires me out. At least my husband and I are able to help her where we can. I just hope that one day she can lead a normal life again. Did you speak to her? By the look on your face, I'm assuming you've come to understand the wonder medicine all too well. <sighs> yeah. Be it Vash or the Mutual Aid Society, forces like that can take full advantage of the... the typical underworld state of mind. Let me tell you a story. There was once a brilliant overworld doctor with unmatched pharmaceutical skill. The doctor was set on developing a medicine that would steal the human body against the cold. He named his research project Blizzard Immunity. But his research met with obstruction time and time again, the biggest factor being a lack of test subjects. Tampering with the human immune system carries huge risk, and nobody in the overworld was willing to submit themselves to such experiments. As such, the doctor got in touch with his sister in the underworld, claiming that he wanted to support the medical effort below ground. Naturally, his sister was overjoyed. After all, as far as medicine was concerned, her brother had always been the standard she'd strive to attain. She brought her brother underground, and 
and trusted him with her clinic and laboratory. I think you know what comes next. Issuing free medicine to the needy was just Vash's way of conducting experiments on his test subjects. On some level, his reagents were able to alleviate the patient's suffering, but nothing more. They would forget their pain for a while and neglect their regular treatment plans. <laughs> the result? Patients with mild illness would attribute their recovery to the so-called wonder medicine, while patients with serious illness would quickly deteriorate, and sometimes die. I cannot accept that their fate was simply the result of misfortune or risk. No true doctor would accept that. That's why I want you to help me recover all the wonder medicine. Are you willing to take on this assignment? Thank you. This will be hard for the people that have come to rely on the wonder medicine. But it's up to us to remove this false hope. You mustn't hesitate. Recover every last reagent that Vash left behind. I'll take responsibility for the consequences. Don't worry about that. Go. I'll be waiting for the good news. Stop right there! No one's allowed up ahead! Ho-ho! Oh, playing the hero, are we? Is this a stick-up? Wait a minute, you're that clinic woman's lackey, aren't you? Did you think the Mutual Aid Society didn't have its own intel? She's after our medicine and sent you here to smash the place, right? Men! Look lively and send this idiot packing already! My turn! <sighs> Savor the vigor of oh. Better late than never! Well, look who we have here. Your reputation precedes you, outsider. I didn't take you for a bandit and a thief. Oh, just passing through. And our guards decided to just beat themselves into submission, I suppose. You listen here. I'm the president of the Complex Illness Mutual Aid Society. The medicine we hold here is lifeblood for many of our members. Are you sure you want to deprive them of that? Those poor patients. Along comes a life-saving wonder medicine, only to be snatched away by a shameless bandit like you. The underworld is full of sickness. What would happen if we left it all to that clinic to treat? My mutual aid society has relieved that doctor of patients at the end of the road. Shouldn't she be thanking me? Hmm. Seems like you are quite bent on dismantling our operations, aren't you? Fine. Seeing as you came all this way, it'd be rude not to give you the opportunity. Men, seize the medicine thief! Ha <laughs> ha! 
Perhaps you still don't understand. Humanity never considers its desire to control the heavens. And I'm no exception. Mm, blast it! What did we ever do to you? Why are you taking away our moneymaker? Moneymaker? So you admit it then. You're not in this to save lives, you're in it to get rich. What are you doing here? Oh, as if we didn't have enough trouble already. Selling fake medicine with false kindness. You should have expected trouble to find you sooner or later. I have a responsibility to protect the well-being of my patients. Or to put it another way, I must eradicate any and all threats to them. You can't save everyone. The Underworld is teeming with sickness. How could you possibly pull it off? You're right. I can't save everyone alone. But if I must, I would sacrifice food and sleep to treat them. The debt that Vash owes to the Underworld rests with me. All I can do is help everyone to the best of my ability. To the very end. Ugh. Ugh, so stubborn. In that sense, you're no different from your crazy brother. I'll take that as a compliment. Thank you. Your actions today have saved many Underworld families. I'll find a way to dispose of Vash's leftover reagents. Next time the Mutual Aid Society wants to whip up a quack cure, they'll be out of luck. <laughs> Let's go back to town. I still owe those patients an explanation. <sighs> Fancy a coffee? Looks like the patients have surrounded Natasha. Let's hear what they're saying. What are you saying, Doctor? The wonder medicine is out of supply? Correct. That medicine is a wolf in sheep's clothing. Wildfire has cut off the supply chain. Your ailments need rational, scientific treatment. Relying on pseudo-medicines will only worsen your condition. Rational and scientific, huh? The way I see it, you're just jealous you lost your patience. Oh, how dare you speak to Dr. Natasha like that? Where are your manners? Ma'am, please think for a moment. How can you still be siding with her? That wonder medicine was working fine for us, and now it's gone because she wants it to be? How can she... I understand your anger, but as your doctor, I ask you to trust my judgment. I will find a way to access more medical resources and help you through your struggles. If I must, I'll get help from the surface. The surface? <laughs> I almost forgot that you were an overworld big shot. Have some respect for Dr. Natasha. <sighs> If it's respect she wants, she better find a replacement for the Wonder Medicine fast. If not, I'll tell everyone about how she set up Dr. Vash. I'm out of here. Oh, you're here. 
I apologize. That must have made for uncomfortable viewing. <sighs> Don't let your emotions get the better of you. If I were in his shoes, I might well have had the same reaction. Now I need to focus on treating the patients and dispelling their doubts. Let's leave it for now. I'll feel a lot better once I've gotten rid of this mess that Vash left us. Now's as good a time as any to tell you Vash's whole story. If there's anything you want to know, don't hesitate to ask. That's a long story. Ever since he was little, Vash had always wanted to develop a medicine called blizzard immunity. He saw the human body's vulnerability to cold as a disease, and wanted to cure it so that humanity could survive the eternal freeze. If he succeeded, people would be able to leave Bellabog and rebuild their homes in the snow plains. To be honest, I never understood how he'd achieve that blizzard immunity. But I do admire that vision and perseverance. I always chose to believe him, ever since I was a kid. I knew his research in the overworld wasn't going well. I used to write to him and ask him to come down and stay with the kids in the orphanage for a while. I thought it might help take his mind off his research. But I was too young to know what long-term frustration could do to a person. It changed him. In a terrible way. During his stay in the underworld, he met patients affected by fragmentum corrosion with mild symptoms. Compared with non-patients, their bodies reacted differently to hot and cold. And that fascinated Vash. He began to simulate mild fragmentum corrosion, thinking that it could lead to breakthroughs in developing blizzard immunity. Those reagents of his aren't cure-alls for critical illness. That doesn't exist. Fash made the reagents to mitigate the suffering of his patients in the short term. A convenient way for him to observe changes in his test subjects. But behind my back, he had been doling out the reagents to residents who were kept in the dark. When it finally struck me that something was wrong, his terrible research had already turned him into into a madman. I trusted Vash with all my heart. Funny, isn't it? And pathetic. When his experiments were exposed, I spent a long time with Oleg discussing how to handle the aftermath. This was shortly before the underworld was sealed off. There were hardly any Silvermane guards remaining. We spent ages trying to find a way to handle Vash. In the end, Oleg suggested that we banish him and permanently deny him access to the underworld. Had his victims found out the truth, Vash would have been torn to pieces by furious underworlders. I was... young and weak at the time. Oleg must have worried about how I'd react to such a scenario, or he wouldn't have suggested banishment. <sighs> Looking back, it wasn't. He deserved much worse. Oleg and I took Vash to the Overworld. He made his final request to us. To take him outside the city to the snow plains he'd always wanted to conquer. His figure gradually disappeared into the snow curtain. <laughs> I've been telling myself that Vash is dead ever since. 
Forgive me. I'm not good at telling stories. Bash was a terrible brother and a worse doctor. That's all you need to know. Let's call it a day. Thank you for cleaning up the mess my brother left behind. Here, for your trouble. You are now a conscript of the moles. Oh, I'm not a sidekick. I'm second in command. Uh, you know what? No, this ain't the time. We got trouble. The boss went to the great mine along with her Diggertron. And she refused to let anyone go with her. 
I feel like she's doing something dangerous. You have to go check on her for us. Diggertron is Diggertron. As long as the boss has it with her, you can expect a good fight. Fersman is in the mines. It seems like the boss heard some bad news about him and then just ran in there. Oh, there's lots of bad guys in the mines. Miss Natasha said kids ain't allowed to go in. Go check on her for us now. And he's like a daddy to everyone in the moles. He's like a great person. Thank you. Uh, please hurry. for a living? Why not sit down and talk it out? Save it. We treated you as our leader, but look how you treated us. Such a rat! You sold the intel about the vein to Antonia, but we discovered it first. Now we've lost the mine, and we have to work for those guys. Traitor! <sighs> well... Nothing to say for yourself, huh? So you admit that you sold the intel to the mining team? Go away, you brutes! Don't bully my daddy! Oh, little hook? Oh, no, no, you have it wrong. It's your daddy who bullied us first. Ask him if you don't believe me. Daddy? Yes, I told Antonia about the vein, but I was the first one to discover it. I have the right to do anything with it. It's only because you have that detector. Let's see who's boss when we take it from you. Back off. I was thinking about the bigger picture when I did that. Unlike you all who just look for trouble every day. Well, I think someone needs to teach you a lesson. Guys, get him. You'll never lay a finger on Daddy without passion through Hook. Help Hook! <laughs> Another punching bag? Fine by me. I'll kick all your butts! Something for you. Ha! 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 You won't. 
don't get away. Daddy, are you hurt? Ah, uh, just a few scratches. How about you, Hook? Don't worry about me. I have Diggertron. No one can hurt me. Good. That's good. And uh, you, young lady, are you hurt? Thank you for your help. Uh, I remember. You are the outsiders Natasha mentioned before, right? I heard that you helped resolve some conflicts around the mines when you arrived. And again today, <laughs> when you saved my life. What a noble young spirit you have. Thank you very much. Daddy, let's go to the old witch's clinic. You're seriously hurt. But the vein detector that Rapscallion was after, somebody already stole it from me. I need to keep searching, otherwise I might never see it again. It's just a tool. Uh, I guess I should let it go. Uh, let's head to the clinic. <sighs> Fancy a coffee? I've taken care of your wounds. I'm running short on medical supplies these days, though, so behave yourselves and stay away from trouble. You hear me? Don't pretend you didn't hear that, Hook. I'm talking to you. Hook wasn't the one that caused trouble. It was those bad guys. We were just defending ourselves and ask her. See? You are gonna spoil that kid. <sighs> That's enough for now. I'll say this one last time, Hook. If you cause any trouble again, I'll take Diggertron away. Do you understand? Mm, Hook understands. The boss of the moles should stick to her word. <laughs> I have patience to take care of. See you later. Thank you again. I if it weren't for you and Dr. Natasha, Hook and I probably would have been in big trouble. <sighs> well, a few days ago, I found a Geomarrow vein using a vein detector, and I sold this info to Antonia, a, a supervisor of the mining team. Then, those vagrants heard about it and accused me of being a traitor. They believe that since I'm also a vagrant who came from another mine and ended up in here for a living, I should naturally be on their side. The mining team could not agree with that, of course. <sighs> I'm just too old for this. Daddy? Are we short on money? Why did you do that? My poor child. Daddy is old now. <laughs> Who knows how long I can stay by your side? I have to start preparing for your future. People say I'm selfish, think I'm a traitor, but it doesn't matter to me. All you need to know is when I'm gone, you will have the money to take care of yourself and survive on your own. Daddy... Forget about it. Since I've got the money from the mining team, I have nothing to complain about now. It's just a shame that I lost my vein detector. It was indeed a treasure. I guess so. It's an ancient relic that can detect Geomarrow veins. It's very rare. I haven't seen a second one in my life. 
I often carried it around looking for a new claim. I suppose some villains must have taken notice. Uh, anyway, I guess I don't need the detector anymore. The less trouble, the better. I shouldn't care who stole my device. <laughs> Whoever it was, I hope they get good use out of it. Hook seems to be giving me a look that says, Hook wants to talk to you outside the clinic, now. So that's why people call eyes the windows to the soul. you to Sweta. She is Daddy's most trusted miner. Uh, not at all. Mr. Fursman trusts every vagrant, and every one of us trusts Mr. Fursman. But after what happened over at that Geomero vein, the atmosphere at the shelter became a bit tense. I'm here to find Daddy's treasure, his vein detector. I heard that someone stole it. Is that true? Well... I would guess that's probably true. After the conflict in the mine, Wildfire gathered everyone out of the shelter and took a head count to check on the wounded. Four people were not there. When we returned to the shelter, Mr. Fursman's detector was gone. We searched all around the shelter but found nothing. I guess one of those four people was the thief. Indeed. Now we can narrow down the scope of our search considerably. We vagrants have our dignity, too. I'm sure we will catch the thief, but... But... what? Actually, we've already asked those four suspects about it. But they all claim to not have stolen anything. Of course, we could never expect thieves to confess and turn themselves in, right? In my opinion, one of those four was lying. Doesn't seem likely. All four suspects are at the shelter. If you're feeling confident, why not give it a try? Maybe you can determine who the thief is. Uh, adults are so dishonest. Hook's gonna question them one by one. Well, well, well. What's this? Playing detective, are we? Spill it! Did you steal my daddy's detector? You little brat! How dare you label me a thief! Someone needs to give you a good lesson on manners. I'm an honest and decent man. I'd never do such a shady thing. <laughs> Anyone can say that. If you really didn't steal anything, then just answer our questions. 
Oh, you have a temper, huh? All right, I'll spare a couple minutes for your little detective game. That old furrisman was kind to me. When we were at Rivet Town, he put me in charge of the whole mining team's food supply. And it's because I trusted him that I came to this mine with him. I mean, I didn't expect he would take that money for himself. <laughs> anyway, he found that Geomero vein by himself, so I won't blame him for not sharing. But you know, what he did was not like the old Furzman I knew. Well, I don't want to be a snitch, but out of my respect for Furzman, I'll tell you a secret. The helper over there? I saw him sneak into Fursman's tent and come out holding a box. See? Isn't he the most suspicious one? <laughs> I don't care if you believe me or not. I've told you all I know. Now leave me alone if you don't have any more questions. I'm busy. Detector. Nope. I'm no thief. Really? Then you better answer our questions honestly. Ask away. Let's not waste time. Nope. What detector? Hey, would you mind talking more nicely? What? I always talk like this. I don't feel like she's the thief. Well, it's the hunch of Pitch Dark Hook the Great. What's the matter? Did you steal Daddy's detector? What? Oh, if I'd known I would become a suspect, I wouldn't have gone out at that time. How foolish of me. I, of course not. I didn't do anything wrong. We just need you to answer a few questions. Okay. Ask away. It would be good to clear myself of suspicion. Detector? No, I haven't seen anything, and I don't know anything. Is that all the questions you have? Have I proven my innocence? Oh dear, all this waiting around is enough to make me even more anxious. Detector. What? How could you say that? You're gonna make me angry. You know what a businessman values the most? Reputation. 
your slander ruins my reputation and harms my business, you'll pay for that. Uh, well, then answer our questions. We'll decide if we believe you or not. No comment. Oh, you would. <sighs> I'll give you one more chance. Think carefully and give your answer to Diggertron this time. I've seen all sorts of things in my life. Why would I be afraid of you two little rascals? <sighs> Here, how about we make a deal? I'll tell you what I know in exchange for a small intel service fee. Fair and honest. Looks like I can only continue exercising my right to remain silent. It's up to you. Smart decision. I love doing business with smart people. Look, the cook is definitely the thief, I'm sure about that. I value my reputation more than anything, so you can trust me. What do I have to gain from lying to you? Wildfire coming for me in the night? Trust me, something's definitely fishy with that cook. I could tell from the start. If you don't believe me, just ask anyone. Don't worry, I've written it all down for you. Remember, among these four people, only the real thief would lie. <sighs> the cook said the helper did it. The tailor said it wasn't her. The merchant said it was the cook, and the helper said it wasn't him. So, do you know who the culprit is? The cook and merchant are the most suspicious. My gut tells me that one of them is the culprit. But don't worry. Even if you choose the wrong one, Pitch Dark Hook the Great has other ways to uncover the true culprit. Right. We have other methods besides deductive reasoning to find out who the true thief is. Let's just examine what they've said first to decide. <sighs> the cook said the helper did it. The tailor said it wasn't her. The merchant said it was the cook, and the helper said it wasn't him. So, do you know who the culprit is? I think the cook and merchant.
Urchin are the most suspicious. My gut tells me that one of them is the culprit. But don't worry. Even if you choose the wrong one, Pitch Dark Hook the Great has other ways to uncover the true culprit. Right. We have other methods besides deductive reasoning to find out who the true thief is. Let's just examine what they've said first to decide. <sighs> the cook said the helper did it. The tailor said it wasn't her. The merchant said it was the cook, and the helper said it wasn't him. So, do you know who the culprit is? Hmm. I don't know why, but I'll trust your judgment. Come on, let's go accuse the culprit! Pete's me. I saw him running out in quite a panic. Ah, that guy has to be guilty. Where is he running off to? Oh yeah, I saw Mr. Sampo on the way to the mine when I came here. Could he be involved in this? Follow Hook! Mr. Sampo should be that away! Mr. Sampo's always at the clinic hanging around Miss Natasha. Hook thought he was really sick or something. He's working with the thief, and he's also a bad guy! still don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens. And I'm no exception. Time to twirl! You have the worst luck running into me. <sighs> Do you know who I am? <laughs> Ever see a diamond this big? Oh, all yours! Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move! Combat is a series of precise machinations. Come one, come all. My friend, are you serious? This device is quite rare. Are you really willing to sell it to me at such a low price? No, no, why are you making this so complicated? Do you want it or not? Just tell me. You two stop right there! Pitch Dark Hook the Great has arrived! Just doing a little business. What's all the fuss? Oh boy, I knew it was too good to be true. 
I, I gotta make this clear. I have nothing to do with this fella. You have to trust me. Miss Hook, please, don't point that thing at me. It's scary. Hey, how can you sell me out like that? We had a deal. You, you stole Daddy's treasure. Diggertron will not spare you. This, this is all that old Bursman's fault. Just because he has this device I'm holding, he can make a fortune. It's not fair. Um, well, it seems you guys have some issues to sort out, so maybe I should leave. The heck if I care. With the underworld in such a sad state, how are we supposed to survive if we don't resort to robbing and stealing? <laughs> anyway, I got the device now. Come take it, if you have the guts. Diggertron, get ready. Something for you. tough for someone who can't fight. Come on, hand the detector over to Hook. Hmm. Huh? No, Daddy's treasure! It's broken! Hey! Now this is Sampo's time to shine. Of course! I wouldn't want to miss out on seeing you and Miss Hook's acts of heroism, would I? Listen here, there's a fellow in Bouldertown they call Balloway the Miner's Lamp. He's an appraiser. Although he claims that he doesn't do appraisals anymore for ancient relics, he actually still does a bit behind the scenes for ones that are of especially high value. I think this device of yours is probably worth a lot. It might be a good idea to try your luck with Balloway. Here's a trick. First, pretend that you want to sell it for a low price, then wait for him to excitedly fix the device for you. After it's fixed, tell him you changed your mind and you want to keep it for yourself. This business tactic is what I call a bait and switch. Pretty clever, huh? Halloween the Miner Slam. Got it. Thanks, Mr. Sampo. Let's go into town to find him. Have a safe trip! First you go a searching, then you go a running, searching, running, jump, jump, jump! I'm already retired from appraising ancient relics, so unless this detector is some kind of precious treasure... Look at this! The detector's probe broke off. Can you fix it? Hmm. Oh, ho ho, this certainly is a rare relic. Let me take a closer look. Oh, yes! 
Yes, look extra close. You have to help Hook fix it. This device... I've been in the business for a long time, but never have I seen an ancient relic like this one before. I think this is probably beyond repair. But still, it is a rare treasure. Even broken, I'd be willing to pay a high price for it. What do you say? The detector's probe is gone. It's like searching for something without eyes or ears. Now, it's nothing more than a pile of junk with no practical value. I'm willing to offer a generous price for this thing, so do you want to sell it or not? Hmm. All right then, let's go find Daddy. Where have you been, Hook? I was just about to go looking for you. Come on, let's go home. I'll cook some salt-baked rock crabs for you. <sighs> What's wrong with this kid? Why? What happened? Big Sister and Hook helped Daddy catch the thief that stole it. But... Daddy's detector is broken. It's all my fault. If only I could have found it sooner. So it was stolen. You're not hurt, are you, Hook? I'm fine. Daddy, can you see if your detector still works? Mm. The Geo Marrow probe is damaged. I'm afraid this thing won't work anymore. I'm sorry, Daddy. I didn't help one bit. What are you apologizing for? <laughs> Thank you so much for looking out for me, Hook. But Daddy's treasure... <laughs> Don't cry, Hook. Daddy's true treasure has been here all along. It was never lost, or broken. <sighs> you can cry. The detector helped me find lots of Geomarrow veins, and it saved the mining team a lot of money. In that respect, it was a very good thing. But at the end of the day, the detector is just a tool. A true treasure must have irreplaceable importance to someone. Hook doesn't really understand. <laughs> it's okay. I'm saying some things that might seem strange, but you will understand someday. So, the treasure daddy's talking about is still happily running and jumping around. Daddy! <laughs> you... You're not allowed to see her cry! Go away! 